Do I want to do the real thing? Yes, because I always joke with Williams like, hey man, if you need a breather for one week, I'll be on the uh, I'll be on the phone, man. Just let me know. My name is Nick Ottinger. I'm from Claremont, North Carolina. I drive for William Bowen Esports in the E-NASCAR Coca-Cola iRacing Series. My dad got me involved in sim racing. He was into NASCAR at the time and I was still in the sports, you know, football, baseball. I had some heart surgeries to where I had some downtime to kind of play some games since I wasn't involved in sports at the time because I couldn't be around other kids at the time too. So whenever I would do all the racing games, I would also go down to that Sunday when my dad would watch TV of the NASCAR Cup Series at the time. The work he would do, he'd be you know, out a lot of time. So he tried to find being a baseball coach too. He spent a lot of time doing that. So and it wasn't until I started to think about that to where I wanted to be in some form, you know, racing. When it started to click was when I was with Kale Gale at the time, which he, at the time he was a NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series driver. So, you know, he had a really good, really good involvement with his actual Gale Force suspension side of stuff, but also what he he done for you know sim racing and then younger kids at the time. He would always try to mentor younger kids, and still to this day, that's what him and his dad Bubba Gale do. So I think that was a real turning point for me to understand that you know I'm actually I can be good at this if I put the effort in because he's all, he was a proven leader at the time for Kale to kind of guide me to what we needed to do as far as team atmosphere and. You know, to build your character, you know, what you want out, out of your teammates, but not to be too selfish in your attributes to really, you know, make sure you're there for your teammates and not just for yourself. William Byron, the driver for Hendrick Motorsports in the Cup Series, enters William Byron Esports in the championship this season. Being able to partner with William Byron, you know, that was what I was more nervous about kind of going through the free agency period because you know, they had a very good understanding of what, what, what iRacing was for William. Um, so they're trying to get invested in understanding what it took to sign a driver. That was the whole process for me was kind of explaining what I wanted out of a team and then kind of understanding what, you know, William wanted out of his drivers and what he wanted to bring to the team. So it was a common ground to, you know, kind of push to having the same objectives. And that was to obviously go win a championship. You know, being going into the, you know, the playoffs, it was just, you know, you put in probably maybe two times more effort in. I would personally, I'd spend more time researching on what I could, you know, look on other drivers I was racing against and see what kind of weak points they would have. And going into Homestead, it was a learner curve, curve because the first, you know, three, three or four races prior to that, we had cautions you know, every single time within the last 20 laps. So we banked on it. And we were lucky in that case, you know, to kind of come down and get tires. But again, you're still playing the cards that you're dealt and doing the best strategy you can. And that's something we prepared for. It's opened up for him, trying to close in side by side with Leahy. Here comes Nick Ottinger with fresh tires in turn four. He'll slice to the inside, side by side for the championship lead, white flag. Let's see if Zelensky, if he has any counteract, nothing. He just doesn't have the grip to fight off Nick Ottinger as he starts to get away from him. Been in this series for so many years. Right now, it's good enough for fourth on track. Shearburn going to be the first out of four. He'll win the battle, but it is Nick Ottinger who wins the war. Nick Ottinger, the 2020 E-NASCAR champion. Motions of teammates kind of you worked with, kind of, you know, the year and the struggles you had. You know, I had with the you know, family at that that year, it kind of just all came to the forefront to where, you know, at that moment, 10 years, 10, 11 years of just being on the sim, have an opportunity like that to, you know, just be in that spot. And then I got wrecked on the dang cool down lap too. And I was like, what are you guys doing? Just let me get to the start finish line. So <laughs> it was, you know, a lot of people were happy for, you know, our women by an esports team, but you know, we were, that was a cool moment to where my mom and dad came in there as well too you guys could hear my dad kind of in the background you know bleeping some words out but it was very cool a very cool experience for us oh, i'd wreck my grandma to win championship for sure i need to win one i need a validation personally for myself is what i wanted because 2013 left a sour taste in my mouth that's a year that i remember you know being competitive and you know, like really wanting a championship and then you know to go basically five six seven years in a row of not not having an opportunity again it was pretty difficult so and nick ottinger wins the inaugural e nascar dirt race at bristol gonna get his second straight win and the 19th of his career ottinger wins in dover 
it's not something that comes to me as a surprise. It's just because of how good our team's been putting the prep work behind the scenes and then just kind of excelling with, you know, last year was about building our, you know, team, our trust between the crew chief, driver, and spotter. And this year it's just, it's, it's come naturally. You know, getting the second championships, just being able to be, you know, really good for, you know, Will and Byron. I think it would be really good in val validation for, you know, him as a team owner, but also what he brings for, you know, iRacing as a whole too. I would say the last year and a half, two years has kind of been, what would I do if I stopped sim racing? And I'd still want to have a commitment to inspiring the next, you know, sim racers. You know, there's a lot of young sim racers out here who, you know, they, they think they're, you know, they know exactly what to do, you know, they don't know the attributes they can bring to a team if they just tweak just a couple couple adjustments to be the next, you know, Michael Kahn and got injury, they could be the next Dreyal Fowler, go on a streak of, you know, three championships and four championships. So, you know, it's I would still be involved in sim racing some some form, but I think I'm on a back nine of my career for sure. <laughs> but, you know, I still would be invested with, you know, William and, you know, what he does outside of sim racing. So we're pretty good, pretty good acquaintances and friends towards, you know, pushing each other, even if it, does, it doesn't involve racing, we still push each other. Even though I still try to, you know, get a couple jabs in on them. <laughs>